Well, I believe this is a very important teaching because we all run into times in our life where we're sad and where things are not going our way. The circumstances are difficult. And we want to look at how to overcome, how to pour our hearts out before God. Because pouring our hearts out before God can be an act of worship right in the midst of our pain. And so we're going to be looking today at how to write a prayer of lament. How do we bring our sadness before the Lord? How do we find peace in the midst of difficult circumstances? How do we quit denying our pain and bring it before God? Well, that's what we're going to look at today. And your heart might be heavy. You might be going through something that's so difficult for you. And I want you to think about it right now how you can bring that before the Lord. Think about that situation. What's difficult in your life right now? Will you want to pour your heart out to God, but maybe you don't really know how to? Let's look at this. How to write a prayer of lament. Habakkuk 3, 17 through 18. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet... I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God, my Savior. Let's look into this because you're going to be writing your own though and yet in your lament. How to write a prayer of lament. You may want to write down your own prayer of lament using the words though and yet to begin to phrase your lament. But do this when you're facing difficulty. If this is not you right now, learn how to do this, but save this exercise for the hard moments in your life when you really need to pour your heart out to God. First of all, find a quiet place with God. Being alone with Him is a necessity for this kind of prayer. And then ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. He will lead you in a prayer of lament. He will open up your heart to God. And then be in God's presence. We are often so much in a hurry in life. You've got to give God your undistracted time. Because a prayer of lament takes time spent in God's presence. Give yourself wholly to God. Put on some worship music. Just be still before God. And then write down the dull moments in your life. What difficulties and challenges are you right now facing? What pain or grief do you feel? These are the dull moments. Though the olive trees fail and the fields produce no food, those are the dull moments, the hard moments, the difficult moments. What pain or grief do you feel? Write those down. And then offer these things to God as a sacrifice. Don't ask Him for anything. Just offer them. Lord, I give you this pain. I give you this circumstance. I give you this as a sacrifice to you. And then worship God by completing the phrase, though these things have happened, or though I'm facing these, yet, yet what? What are some good things? Worship God in a series of yet statements. Yet, you are faithful, you are good, you are kind to me. Yet, Lord, you have the answer, you will work this out for my good. Yet, I can trust in you. I know you will help me. Those kind of things. And I guarantee you, that this will have a great effect on your life. You know, I had some very difficult moments several years ago. I was facing cancer, several surgeries, and a lengthy recovery. I learned that through pouring out my heart to God in prayers of lament, my heart was changed. I began to look at things in a much more positive light. So praising God in the midst of difficulty is so powerful because God stands in the moment with us, with you. He does. The thing that I can testify during those moments of difficulty, when I brought my pain to God, directly to Him and walked with Him through it, was the reality that God was really there. And He's really there for you. He's really there. And He gave me a deeper revelation of Himself through that time. And I can even thank Him for those hard moments in my life. When I brought that pain, directly to God and walked with him through it. The reality that God was really there. He gave me a deeper revelation of himself and he'll do the very same for you. And I want to close with this quote from Graham Cook. If you are in mourning, you have the opportunity to worship in the most powerful way possible. Lamentation. 
This worship isn't done in order to have God remove the pain. It simply recognizes that God stands in the moment with us. Lamentation elevates God in the presence of our enemies. It brings out a side of God that other forms of worship simply cannot. So let's remember that God's in the moment with us in our pain. He's with you in any pain you're going through, and I encourage you to write a prayer of lament whenever you're facing sorrow in a difficult circumstance. God bless you. Yeah.